Today, I'll be ranking every MCU Disney Plus show. This is all my opinion, and it'll probably be very controversial, but on the other side, I don't give a shit. Um, comment down below your opinion, you know, I'll re I read all my comments, so yeah. Uh, on the other hand, let's get started. Number 5, What If. This show is terrible. 3 out of 10. This show has no uniqueness, and the What If episode ideas are just garbage. And they're just not very interesting to me. They could have done what if the Avengers never brought back anyone and you followed the life of a random person who was affected by the snap and you show or the show shows how they struggle in a very dark and serious episode. And instead they made Party Thor. That's all I gotta say. The show also has a bunch of MC MCU humor and I hate the MCU humor overall. Uh, sometimes it's good like in Spider-Man No Way Home, but in this show, it doesn't work. It feels forced and unnatural to say. Um, the action is also very boring to watch. This show has one good episode, Doctor Strange, or episode four, whatever, you know, the Doctor Strange episode. It was interesting, unique, had, good, had a good ending, and most of the episodes also have a bad ending because it, they try to fit their story into a 30 minute runtime but they can't they can't so it leaves you wanting more this is why you design your episode or story about a um or around a, a 30 minute runtime instead of having a dumb forced stupid ending you know that feels like a new act of a story because most of these episodes well every single one actually doesn't get a part two well i mean i guess the last two episodes do get part one part two but all the other episodes don't which makes it super annoying that some of the stories just feel unwrapped up and um they do feel very abrupt when they end um i do not recommend this show to anyone and i'm number four hawkeye this is not a good show either episode five is the only one is the only good episode episode six is the only decent episode and every other episode is just bad the mcu humor is very bad in the show um also the fight scenes are not good at all they're very boring and very choppy um and the last two episodes the fights are good but in the first four episodes it was really bad the story took um also took a bunch of detours and the episodes felt drawn out because of that or because it is the characters are also bland and forgettable the only characters i liked were hawkeye and yelena also there aren't that many heartfelt moments what i mean by this is that there are any good heartfelt moments what i mean by this is that some heartfelt scenes get ruined by some dumb MCU humor. For example, the phone call with Hawkeye and his son. That could have been very impactful and very good. But instead, they ruin it with some dumb MCU humor and stuff like that. They also made my boy Kingpin not as scary and menacing as he was in Daredevil. I do not recommend the show 3.5 out of 10. Number 3, Loki. We don't recommend it. First episode was not bad. But episode four, five, six, what is eh, overall a four out of ten. The fight scenes were bad and boring. Loki became dumb and got overshadowed by a woman Loki, you know, and they had to make her a strong female power, whatever. The TVA was also a cool idea but got ruined by the ending. Even with the twist at the end, they just didn't pull it off well in my opinion. The main story is also just decent, but the mystery and the intrigue just dies the more episodes you watch. Now onto the good TV shows. Number 2, WandaVision. Got my interest from the beginning, it was mysterious and interesting, but had a terrible ending. The fight scene was god awful, they made it so cliche in terms of the story moments at the end also. They treated Wanda as a hero even. Though, at the end of the show, she should have paid for her actions and take responsibility, but she doesn't. You know, that's why I like Spider-Man No Way Home. He actually takes responsibility. But in this, uh, Monica Rambeau, 
or whatever her name is she's like they no one will know what you've been through but which is stupid because she just entrapped um, a town of a couple thousand people a very dumb ending uh, they needed that episode 9 or not 9 episode 10 or whatever that missing episode was I still have to give it points for trying something new telling the story through time periods instead of the traditional way number one Falcon and the Winter Soldier great action great story good characters and a great villain the show does get slow in most episodes though but always has a way to pick it up at the end of the episode also, the ending was, was not that great. Falcon fixed everything in one speech, and they killed, or they treated Carly as a good person instead of a bad person. Overall, I recommend it, but, you know, has some problems. Uh, comment down below your rankings, I'll read them, and heart them maybe, and that's about it, bye.